Hi guys, welcome to your weekly energy reading. This is going to be done with the Chakra Insight Oracles, my Sacred Destiny Oracle, and the Tarot Illuminati. Um, so I already pulled the cards. Please, please look up your earth, your earth, <laughs> look up your sun, moon, and or rising signs, the energy depicted with it. Um, and we're going to be going through each of the signs. So we're going to start with earth first. Um, so my earth sign, some of you guys had more cards falling out than others. That's why there'll be multiples. Um, but my earth signs, you guys got forgiveness, the heart chakra. So heart chakra, forgiveness. You guys also got three of swords, the ace of wands and taking risks. I love it. Um, three of swords is about some heartache. So some of my earth signs are going through something. You guys are going through something, whether it's romantically, it's you're at odds with, with a lover. Um, maybe you went through a breakup. You're going through a loss in the family, something tragic, something like tragic or just a little bit upsetting with, with you. And it's feeling heavy this week, especially with the holiday coming up, with Thanksgiving coming up for those of us who celebrate um, and we're getting gatherings with the family. Sometimes it can be a little bit hard and difficult. So some of my earth signs are, are experiencing that. Um, but the Ace of Wands is asking you to don't let these these downfalls, these these negative feelings, these, um, these the, you know, being in the pits, don't let that ruin your zest for a life this week, okay? Ace of Wands is about putting in passion, allowing yourself to be inspired. Just because you feel like you shouldn't be happy doesn't mean you you don't be happy, you know what I mean? So you may not be feeling good um, you know, emotionally and whatnot, but do your best to not let that hinder you this week. Still allow yourself to have fun and have a good time. Um, taking risks and forgiveness. So forgiveness can go hand in hand with that three of swords, okay, my earth signs. So there may be forgiveness needing to take place with, with somebody else, um, a good talk this week, um, reconciling differences, that kind of thing, coming together with the family, you know, um, putting some feelings aside. Um, and then taking risks is this could be for some of my earth signs feeling like you need to take that leap and actually having some expression. So I feel like some of you guys really need to speak up, speak your mind, speak your truth. Um, while all others of you are learning to kind of hold it in, you know, not be so aggressive in your conversations this week, especially if we're coming together with people we haven't seen all year. So family, um, you know, holding it together for the sake of, okay? So earth signs, it's going to be a, a little bit of a challenging week, a little bit of a setback there for some people, but I feel like for the most part, you guys are going to be okay. Air signs, you guys got... Third eye chakra, we have divine consciousness, um, the king of swords, and also protection. So um, first off, when it comes to the third eye chakra, your intuition and the king of swords coming up is saying that you have control over your words. You air signs can be very um, picky and choosy when, when you guys talk. Um, you have very strong communication skills, but sometimes you don't come off the way you want to or the way you intend to. And that's what happens with a king of swords. A king of swords can be a bit abrupt um, and they speak their mind and whatnot, but not everybody understands what's really like the underlying meaning to what you're saying. Um, so I feel like with that, it's just kind of saying the protection card um, is, is just to me, protecting the third eye for one. Um, some of you protecting your intuition, your third eye, your sixth sense, that kind of thing. Um, but also I feel like some of you guys are going to be in heavy conversations with people this week and the need to protect or stand in front of, or what's the word, like stand up for someone else on behalf of someone else, speaking up on behalf of somebody else, um, is going to come up this week for you guys. Um, the, the only thing I say is that just be very mindful of how you say it because a king of swords can often be, <sighs> a little bit too much. You know what I mean? Like a little bit too passionate. A king of swords can be overbearing and, and often are misjudged um, and misunderstood. So be mindful of how you guys are coming across with your words this week. Let your third eyes, your let your third eyes guide you this week, lead lead the way. Um, trust your intuition, and then also for for protection. You know, I feel like for a lot of my air signs this week, it's sticking up for someone else, but also 
being mindful of how you guys do it, how you deliver that message, how you how you communicate with other people. Because like I said, if some of you guys just are often misunderstood with the way that you guys communicate and it's not your fault. It's just you get so passionate about something, you come across a different way. So um, some of you guys might be seeing a little bit of a challenge with that this week. My fire signs, you guys got the root chakra home. You got the Ten of Pentacles, the Fool, and you got Patience. <laughs> so I feel like a lot of my fire signs will be traveling this week, um, going back home to visit family, okay? A lot of you guys are going to be doing some traveling, going back home with that Fool card, going back home. That Ten of Pentacles is, is family gatherings. There's going to be a lot of get-togethers. Um, you guys are going to be around a lot of people, a lot of old energies, a lot of old family members and people that you grew up with but you don't necessarily see on a daily basis now. Um, so I see a lot of that going back in time kind of a feel, that shift with that. Um, so make sure that you guys are grounded. This is your root chakra. So make sure you guys are grounded this week. Um, and when you're traveling, make sure you know you, you pack what, only what's necessary. That full card is making me think of like packing only what is necessary, what you're going to need for the week, um, not overdoing it. You know what I mean? You're not going to be staying there forever. And then patience, having patience, my fire signs, especially if you are going over to seeing family friends, people you haven't talked to in years or weeks, months, whatever, um, having patience with people because they're, when you get together with other family members, there's a lot of different energies, a lot of different belief systems and different personalities. And when we're blending that together, it could be quite a, quite a challenge. So um, patience is going to be necessary. And in order to have patience, fire signs, you need to be grounded. Lastly, we have water signs. We got the solar plexus chakra, self-esteem. Um, the Queen of Pentacles, and then New Beginnings. So this, this is a week of that. This is a week of shedding layers, I feel. This is a week of coming out, being number one, okay, water signs. This is stepping out and allowing yourself to be in the limelight, allowing people to see you, who you are, who let, letting yourself shine. You're not hiding in the background. You're not hiding, you know, um, and letting other people take on, you know, the attention. It's kind of like water signs. Let's, let's shift a little bit. Um, Queen of Pentacle energy is very, very abundant, okay, um, in, in different ways. It could be in your finances. It could be in your material values. It could be in your passions, whatever whatever those pentacles, whatever that 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 reveals for you water sign. So I feel like this is going to be a really good week for a lot of us to shine. Um, a lot of new beginnings coming through. Okay. So some of my water signs, you guys might be seeing the beginning of a project or it's the first day of, of a job, or it's like that inspiring thing that hits you. And then you're going to know exactly where you want to take the next, the next step, the next month, because this is leading into the first of December. So, um, we're kind of closing out November and we're getting ready for a new beginning with a new month, a new month. So my water signs, you guys might be prepping for that. And I feel like some of you guys need to start shifting your, your personal energy with the self-esteem card. Some of my water signs, if you are normally in the background and you're normally not get, getting a lot of attention because you don't want to, or you don't believe in yourself, or you just have a lot of doubt in your ability to obtain I feel like that's something that needs to shift with a lot of you guys. So I encourage you this week to practice that. Start setting up a list and a plan for some of these new beginnings that you see that are going to start to transpire in your life so that when the new month starts, you have really good self-esteem and you have confidence in yourself to make these things happen um, as we go through this final month of the year 2019. So really good energies for all of you guys. Um, like I said, a lot of us are going to be going out meeting people family members having gatherings and whatnot and patience is running thin with a lot of us a lot of us have a lot to say my air signs have a lot to say my earth signs have a lot to say um my water signs i feel like you guys are going to be good um not too much you know you actually this might be <laughs> the family gathering where you have a lot of attention put on you guys because maybe you've recently you know succeeded or received a lot of abundance or something something big happening around you guys so a lot of people are going to be asking you questions about it but whatever the case you guys enjoy your week make the most of it um and enjoy the fun the fact that this is the final week of november and we are going into our final month of the year so keep that in mind as well have a beautiful week and i will talk to you guys later bye my loves